In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Proxy by Janitor AI. Now, this is going to be a full no BS guide, so make sure you stick around. I'm going to show you everything you need to know regarding proxies on Janitor AI. Now, first, in case you're wondering what a proxy is, well, proxy isn't actually an exact thing. It can be used for many different things on the web, such as support for certain things like firewalls for websites, assistance, and also LLM models, which is basically what you can use with Janitor AI. Now, with a proxy, what you can do is you can use several paid and free models to be able to chat with your bot and actually have a bit of a different, unique experience than what you're used to with your standard model that you have on Janitor AI. Okay? Now, this one is not bad by itself, but of course, if you want a different experience, you can try using that and seeing if that's something else you would like to try out. Now, let's get started. The first thing you want to do to set up a proxy on Janitor AI is, of course, you want to come to janitorai.com and you want to sign into your account or create one in case you don't have it. And then you want to go into one of your chats. Now, here I have one chat. I've started that already, but you can of course start a new one. However, you must know that not every single chat will allow you to actually have proxies set up. Now, you'll know that because after you finish what I'll be showing you right now, you'll try to send in a message and then it will give you a message up top of your screen, which will say that it's forbidden because this character does not allow proxies. If that happens, just go to a different character and then you'll be good to go and set it up there. Most of them will allow it though. Now, here I'm going to go into this one. And inside this chat, you want to click on the very top right where it says where you can see those three lines and click on API settings. Here, you want to go to proxy. So this is going to be the basic thing you'll see. Click on proxy over here. And this is where the fun begins. Now we're going to do custom over here. And first, we're going to find a model. Now the models are different. You can find them on the various websites, but the one I'm going to actually use for this tutorial is going to be Open Router because I think it's the easiest. So just go to OpenRouter.ai and then sign into your account or create one in case you don't have it yet. And then here on the left, you just want to search for models. So you can do that by either going to models or you can just directly search for them. As you can see over here, it will show you some of those whether that are free now. These that actually have some pricings over here and don't have the free next to their name are not free. You'll have to pay for those. But if you actually want the free ones, these are free and you can use them completely for free. As you can see, the ones that have the free in brackets, there's a lot of them. Actually, you can, of course, try whichever one you want. But for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and search for deep seek because this is the one I used and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Again, it's going to be the exact same thing just for your own model. Now here I'm going to scroll down. Actually, I'm going to use this one, which is going to be DeepSeek V3 base and it's free. Click on the model you would like to, of course, use. And the first thing you want to do, you want to copy this bit over here. So click on the copy button and it will copy this model and go back into API settings on Janitor and paste it inside model. Now that's the first thing you have to do. The second one, you will need the other API slash proxy URL. Now, if you did this using open router, you will have to paste this in. So I will actually leave this in the description down below. You can just copy and paste it. It's going to be the same for no matter which model you use using open router. But if you used any different website, it's going to be a bit different and you will have to look on Google or find another website, what you have to use for this instance. Now, after you've done those two things, you will need to do the third one, which is the most important, and it's the API key. So go back to open router. Now we filled in those information. We have to go to the top right, hover over your account, click on keys, and here create API key, give it a name. So I'm just going to give it a name tutorial, uh, for example, janitor AI, so it can be whatever you want, and then click on create. Here it will be provided an API key copy the API key and make sure you save it somewhere safe because after you close this window, you won't be able to see it again. So you can only see it once. And in case you miss it, no worries, you can just create a new one and that will work as well. So then go back inside your API settings to the API key and paste that in here. And then you can also add in a custom prompt. Now what this will do is it can set the behavior of the bot. So in case you'd like it to behave in a specific way, you can of course do that and prompt it. You can also click here for more information about that, but we are not going to bother with that right now. We're just going to skip it. Now here you can also select one of the presets or manually enter them. Of course, that's up to you as well. Again, double check. Everything is fine over here. And after that's done, click on save settings. 
If you've set everything up correctly, it should say using proxy up top and this will be active. You'll always see this button. Now here, you first want to go to chat and just type in something. So whatever you want to tell it, I usually I'm just going to test it. Uh, I'm going to just type in yo, what's up or something like that. And sometimes you get an error like this. If this happens, simply just basically refresh the website like that. So just refresh it. So everything goes in, there we go. And I'm gonna just copy and paste the exact same message. And now it is replying. As you can see, it's gonna start typing, there we go. And it's now basically talking to me and everything is working just fine. If you again get the error, make sure you just close the chat and basically just reopen the website and then it should be working for you. So that is pretty much it. That is the full guide on how to use the proxy by Janitor AI. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.